Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we will be taking a look at the semiconductors and also the broader market and let's take a look at what is our favorite stock NVIDIA doing today and together with Broadcom, AMD, Intel, TSM and SMCI. I will also take you over the ETF of SMH that is the semiconductor ETF that I use to track the broader sentiment and we'll also take a look at QQQ and SPY. With that, please hit the like and subscribe if you find my videos valuable and helpful. And please remember, none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes. Also, I will be talking about specifically with NVIDIA what type of trade I have planned till the, I would say before earnings, I want to close this position. So stay tuned for that as well in this video. I'll be talking about that and I have position open already. And this morning, I traded Tesla using my Tesla bot uh, on the short side as well. If you're interested how I use my Tesla bot and my day trading from today, check out this video on my channel. I did, did it this morning just prior to this current video. All right, let's jump into our semiconductors and let's start off with some broader market here. So we'll kick it off with QQQ, NASDAQ 100. So what is QQQ telling us? It is telling us that it is in the downtrend. Now, very simple period right well we saw a relief rally yesterday right over here you can see this huge green candle but what followed today was a continuation of the rejection underneath of the 50 days moving average you can see that's where you know we we saw the rejection and we are making our way down today so the thing is guys that um yesterday rally well morgan stanley came out and media is going to the moon 500 dollars you know that's what he said that's what they said um again like i don't want to you know disc discredit anyone or um i just again like my opinion is my opinion morgan stanley opinion is their opinion guys just be careful in such a bubbly market because usually again like analysts are not losing anything right they are there to make money for themselves so what happens is that they want someone to sell it right they want to increase the liquidity up at the higher prices so they would ask you to buy so that they can sell it to you because it's always buying and selling right someone needs to be there present as a buyer so that someone can sell right they already have their position loaded up so and then they come out with the news is right and they have these media and the platform and the brand name you know like morgan stanley so just be careful do your own due diligence i'll, co I'll cover more about it in in the nvidia when i do that so we again okay as i said we are rejecting this 50 days moving average for, as an overhead resistance and we are on our way down um nothing changes it is still bearish the break of the level of 364 uh, may bring us down to the 357 dollars level that's the next area of potential another good support and um, but again guys you can trade level to level bounces could be shorted that's what i have been saying and if I go to the hourly level on QQQ, we are below, you can see below 200 hours moving average. Uh, the red line right over here, this thing, right? So, and then we have been still keeping our way below 20 and 50 hours moving average as well. So QQQ is just forming, you know, lower highs, lower lows constantly. So there is, there is no sign of bullishness. It may become bullish or it may start to become bullish that's all i can say if it gets above 371 and if it makes its way above 200 hours moving average then we can start talking about okay hey things are turning up out differently but right now it's still in the downtrend it is still bearish um so bounces are need to be taken as in uptrend you would see pullbacks okay so bounces in the downtrend is like a retracement and then continuation to the downside right all right that was qqq let's take a look at spy and guys oh michael burry you know his statement came out q2 that he has huge put position on spy and qqq banks have been downgraded michael burry got out of the hedge oh, sorry the regional banks he went on the put side in the q2 and again i know we are already q2 so it's the statement that came after so again we don't know what they are doing now but that was he did in q2 and when you open such a big position in like worth billions of dollars in option, then you don't just close it in a few months. You are having an outlook of, you know, a um, few months down the road, right? So, and then, um, you know, um, I think Warren Buffett is uh, getting more into the, to the treasury rather than the stocks. So, guys, you got to be careful in the market, right? That's what I've been talking about as well, that 
we are forming some classic tops that we because we have gotten so extended everywhere over the weekly monthly that it's the downturn is expected in the market because money is getting taken out from the liquidity right of the system so that's also the thing now all right spy wow i have been talking too much here all right spy so spy guys is um it has broken that critical level that we were talking about as an nx support of 443 now it has also closed below 50 days moving average today not good this is definitely not good the only good support level on spy is only at 431 now uh, this may very well come back down there it is in the downtrend i don't see anything going up right now there is no price action telling me that if level of 430 breaks we can come down to 418 that's where only the next good support is and potentially will touch base meet and greet with 200 days moving average which will be somewhere like around 421 by then if again depends how quickly we start going coming down but right now the price action is not telling me otherwise guys now it it closing below this 443 dollars level confirms to me that uh that that level of support is definitely not holding and there is more downside to come um so yeah be prepared for some bumpy ride ahead all right guys um something i want to show you on weekly level i usually show it on other you know it's indices as well but guys look at it um this is a bear market rally and you know and guys we, yeah like look at it like how much like parabolic we have gone look at it right we sure this was fine but then we went boom and boom right this is undigestible so and now this was all quantitative easing a lot of money was in the economy now the money is taking out getting out right because interest rates are rising so you know that's what will may bring down the market eventually right so all right smh i want to cover qqq and spy in my textile videos as well so um but yeah um semiconductors i think i covered most good amount of it in in this video as well for qqq and spy all right uh spy so not sorry spy smh the uh, semiconductor edf now guys this i have been saying that hey this is a massive double top on the weekly level and this is for years to come and let's see if that thesis works out um, but yeah that's what my hunch is uh, again same theory a lot of quantitative easing deeper valley double top and now money is uh, taken out in from the economy to bring the dollar value back and then this will just not gonna look good it's gonna be just on its way down and we will see how things looks like then uh, there's no sign of bullishness even though nvidia is rising that's fine definitely guys nvidia's earnings met let's see uh it's really a double-edged sword to play nvidia's earning but we'll see what happens so um this is the okay hourly chart i want to take a look at the day level first yeah guys it's still you know uh, bearish well it's in the downtrend that was yesterday just nvidia took everything up and brought some relief rally but other semiconductors even today has been selling off i'll show you in a moment so but yeah it's in the downtrend guys this is the kind of channel it is in so um yeah and if i take a look at the hourly interval with smh below 200 hours moving average and sure it found support at this level that we have had um, but you can see it's uh today been selling off and that was yesterday that really relief rally with nvidia and it bounces off of this support level Again, we trade level to level. The next level is 143, 146 breaks. Bounces to 200 hours moving average, in my opinion, are and can still be shorted. And I'll talk about that play that I'm building on NVIDIA, which I want to play only for four or five days. I don't want to take it down to the earnings um, because that may, yeah, it's earnings, playing earnings is a gamble and I want to avoid that. All right, NVIDIA. So nvidia the king of the mountain i like to call it yes it has that title let's see how long it holds that title it's even forming some mountains up here you can you know see this is a mountain right well okay jokes aside let's um talk about the price section on nvidia so we all know the story yesterday that you know morgan stanley came out that hey 500 dollars to the moon sure who knows if okay okay let's let's talk about that a little bit so they talked about some elements like uh, their data center revenue or the insider talks that they have been having with their clients and all of that stuff. Let's see. We will get to know how the price action reacts and the earnings comes out. Definitely Morgan Stanley has put their name out now. And again, I don't want to be the judge of that. I want to see if earnings fulfills what Morgan Stanley said. And let's just then remember that for moving forward let's say if if everything goes how morgan stanley said then 
that's good. If they don't, then we will have to remember moving forward that, hey, um, this was the incident or situation that these analysts came out, what were their agenda, right? Um, so usually, guys, um, again, I, I, I can't, you know, I don't know Morgan Stanley, they're, how they're doing their analysis, and how much, how market would react to what they are saying, guys, but come on, like, I mean, they, like, it clearly showed us yesterday that they, they, they do load up the shares already, guys, before coming out with these statements. Uh, what Otherwise, what interest do they have to talk 500? Remember when they were saying here, hey, 420, 419, and now suddenly it's 500? And then, you know, when, once any stocks start fall, falling, every analyst comes, hey, it's going to go down, it's going to go down, and if every stock goes up, it's going to go up, it's going to go up. Who knows? They may have gotten in their position somewhere 424 and they were like, hey, let us bring out just this statement, get the pump out of it so that we make our profit and get out. You just never know. So that's what I'm saying that, you know, don't rely on anal analysts fully. Again, it's up to you. Uh, I don't tend to follow my trading plan as for the analysts. I like to do technical analysis and taking macro sentiment into account, like the money flow, the cash flow and all of that. So, all right, let's talk about NVIDIA more. Uh, price action. So NVIDIA was in this latter step earlier that we were talking about that this is one of the um, support ladder step, right? Uh, and then when it was around this area, we were talking about that if this ladder step breaks, it's going to open up the door all the way to 404. That's what it did. It came back all the way down and then Morgan Stanley did their magic, right? Shot it back up. If 404 would have been broken, it would have opened the door to 376. And I'm talking as a bearish sentiment person right now because I'm trying to play the short side on it. Now, as a bull, this is really good for you guys. The fun, if, if the today's candle could also have been closed above 20 days moving average, that was perfect thing for bull. And we'll cover a lot of things on hourly interval as well. Bulls can still turn it around if they want to because the stock price has gotten above 50 days moving average and even closed above 50 days moving average. It's right now can go either direction, like bull and bears are in the fight mode right now because technically NVIDIA is also finding some support, again, back over $439. It outperformed the market today still. You can see NVIDIA is still positive and most of this credit come from its aftermarket yesterday as well, the jump that it had, like $7 up, it went in the aftermarket yesterday. So yeah, technically, it's bullish bearish both place and so this is what i'm playing now also let's go over my play that i'm doing so technically nvidia i would say is 65 percent in the downtrend because we are still in the downtrend though guys nothing changes uh here we go you can see it's falling sort of falling this trend line right it broke that channel but came back into it so this is sort of you can say right now Technically, it is still in the downtrend, but bulls almost like 45% of the control is in bulls hand and 55% control is in the bears hand. Let's talk that way. Let me take you to the hourly interval. Now, I want to first talk to you guys about this position that I started today on Nvidia. And I, I, just, I don't want to play this through the earnings. I want to have a conclusion on it before earnings. And this is a short position. And I'll tell you my uh, risk to reward ratio that I'm planning on it. So I went around this area short. Okay, so I, I took my, I, my average position came out to be around $447 on, not 447 guys, sorry. It was somewhere a little bit lower, $446 around. That's where I started shorting today. Because I saw when the, I saw that wick up on the top, you can see, right, in the first hour, I started building into it. Um, because that was a good sell of pressure and market was selling off. So I want to just play this. Okay, here's what I'm targeting. I'm targeting the first level of 432 to take some out based on the timeline. When I say timeline, I mean, these are not options. These are pure shares. I don't do options, timeline contracts. I like to have fle flexibility and not decay or in that time pressure of the things. And I have my stop loss just around the level of 454 around that. So my first level that I'm targeting is I'm um, two to one risk to reward ratio is what I'm planning. 
So first level, I want to, again, because it's like a, within before earnings, I want to complete it. Uh, 432 is what I'm planning, first level. And then some, some partial I want to keep running all the way to 422. This is the trade on the short side I'm uh, doing. Now, I'm being very patient on this. Um, and I know I want to be only patient as much as long it doesn't turn into loss. And that's why I have my stop loss, because I don't want to play with the earnings, uh, period, with NVIDIA. Um, so I want to get out before that, whatever it would be. So this is what it is. Um, and so yeah, we'll see how it plays out. I'll keep you guys posted. Now, why I took this shot and what, what are my thinking process? So you know, if you have been following my videos, I like to see the levels and the moving averages very clearly. And I saw this huge consolidation back over here. Then I saw this rejection at 200 hours moving average. And you guys know I love trading around 200 hours moving average, long side or short side, right? And I'm like, this is perfect place for me to try to play short. And again, guys, as I said, I have my stop loss because nothing is guaranteed in the stock market. Because if it goes up, it's bullish for me, right? So I don't want to be sitting on my short position. And that's where um, I also have to have a stop loss. It's again, all the trades I take, I have my stop loss. You know, guys. When I used to trade uh, many years ago and when I just started in the market, I did not used to have stop losses. And I learned my lesson that I'll, ha I'll make my losses bigger and have small profits. So that's why now I'm getting into practice. And this has been a few years now that I cut, I, you know, cry and take my loss. But then I try to maximize my profits. And that's how I also trade. You will get that, you know, sense as well. If you take a look at this Tesla trading video from this morning that I did here. All right. Now, NVIDIA. All right. So I covered about it, my play. So guys, technically, on the hourly level, it is uh, still in the downtrend. It is below 200 hours moving average. And let's see if this play plays out that I have in mind. Um, guys, until earnings, I think it will. It can stay easily above $400 unless something changes. Uh, this thing, gonna, as I said, we're going to play with your emotions, psychology a lot until earnings. So... Uh, yeah, this is not going to be a very smooth ride for for anyone who want to play. And guys, shorting with NVIDIA right now. NVIDIA right now is what Tesla was a few, maybe years ago or months ago. Uh, and that's what NVIDIA is right now. Shorting NVIDIA is really tough. Like I have shorted Teslas as well multiple times and in profits I have. Like I have one swing short open on Tesla from all the way to from 400 and I think uh, 70 around dollars to all the way till still I'm carrying it most of it I have scaled out most of it as well you will get to know in that video as well if you see the the, the, the intraday trade also that I took today um, and so yeah and so Nvidia is right now doing what Tesla used to do like squeezing out short so uh, trade these stocks carefully okay um, now right okay so this was Nvidia let's talk about Broadcom and um, Broadcom guys is bearish uh, downtrend uh, below 20 and 50 days moving average uh, definitely relief rally yesterday but nothing changes on it it's still in the downtrend you can trade level to level um, yeah I mean if even if I go to the hourly level yeah it is guys it is uh, downtrending um, again if it breaks the level of 836 can post possibly test tomorrow 200 sorry 813 uh yeah it, if it breaks above 20 hours moving average uh it can bounce close to 200 but then it 200 hours moving average, but then since it's in the downtrend it will just make its way down all right amd let's talk about amd what's been going on with this one guys oh man guys oh this thing i remember i said over here all the levels I talked about is going to do this, going to go up, 50 days, go up, give you the level of 124. It did that around earnings, before around earnings. Here. Yeah, I did that. Came back down. If it breaks below it, going to give you $108. If it breaks below it, can come down to 102 Well, it not, okay. It did not go all the way there, 105 Then NVIDIA screwed up everyone <laughs> yesterday. Uh, but guys, and remember, I said it's going to stay choppy. I don't expect much out of it back here in the mid of june i said two months before 109 dollars to 116 is gonna stay choppy guys it's just that place choppy i just don't trade amd when it's choppy yeah guys yeah um the play is still the same if it gets above 116 it's a long play if it gets below 109 it's a short play technically it's down trending bearish below 20 and 50 days moving average their earnings have passed their guidance is not that great guys 
it's gonna either stay choppy or the downside uh, that's my opinion intel okay i have been avoiding intel for quite a while let me just talk about it today guys very simple stay out of it <laughs> it's okay if you have love for it, your entry positions are around 20, 50 and 200 days moving average. It's not a short play. It could be a long play. Don't short. I mean, guys, this is not an intraday play. It has no volatility. And sure, it's in this, okay, it's in this uptrend. If that makes you happy. It's in the uptrend. Intel is in uptrend. <laughs> guys, um, I don't know what this stock is going to give you. Uh, if you have love for it, again, until 200 days moving average you can average into it if you really want to hold it 25 dollars is a good support but guys i think it's if it breaks you should not have it if it breaks for 200 days moving average. it has nothing on going on for it the management is sleeping they have no desire to compete they are sure doing that foundry thing they want to do to supply chips we'll see how ai things goes nvidia let's see but let nvidia come out and let's see what happens uh intel guys if you can avoid it just avoid it tsm guys been talking about it since the time it broke 20 days moving average it's a short play downtrend i talked about it's gonna meet 200 days moving average it's almost there guys it's it, it's it this was the play you know at this point if you had the short when we were talking about the downtrend here this would be the place you want to book your profit and the play is over that's what it is um yeah Right now, I don't see any further play with TSM. I would, at this point, would basically would just want to cover my position. Uh, if I would be short, I would just cover it in profit here. Um, we will talk about more when it gets closer to 200 days moving average, and let's see how it reacts there. We want to then start seeing other price action. I don't know if many of you are TSM investors. Let me know if you trade it. Again, it, has, it is a low volatility stock, just like Intel. So... I might put it on hold as well if none of you day trade it. I cover just to get the sentiment across the semiconductors as well uh, because this creates the chips for most of the you know uh, market, right? All right, SMCI, I, I have been looking to short it. I'm just not getting that proper entry on it. So yesterday I also talked about if it breaks below $262 level today, I would want to short it. I just did not short it. I started doing NVIDIA. And technically, this is where I don't want to... I want to see some bounce actually right um uh, if i would have taken a short just break of this level i would have even just gotten out by now because it did not close below it right so i would have taken my stop loss on it uh, guys the thing is that i want to short it i have my eyes on it but i want to short it a little bit higher this is where i, I really want to short it at 296 or where 200 hours moving average would be it's just not giving that great bounce to me to short into it so and it being at $264 level, I just don't want to short it blindly because, and this has a higher spread, and this thing, if it does the bounce, it may give me a huge drawdown, and I, I don't like doing that. So, um, yeah, and that's why I want to trade it closer to the 200 hours moving average. Based on the price action, it's not that if it touches 200 hours moving average, it's going to go down. we got to see the rejection, the price level, the important key levels, and see how the price reacts to it. All right, guys, this is all what I wanted to go in this video with you all. If you found this helpful and valuable, please hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.